When you hear that statistic from Oxfam that the poorest half of the world's population own about as much as the 85 richest people in the world, including you, of course, does that make you feel uncomfortable? Well, we, what makes me uncomfortable is that children die. Uh... But you don't deny the gap between rich and poor seems to have got worse. No, the, the gap between rich and poor has not, not gotten worse, thank goodness. Uh, it, if, you, if, you're, if you go back far enough, everybody was poor. Do you think that enough is being spent on international aid? Uh, I'd like to see that increased, uh, particularly the programs uh, where you're buying malaria bed nets and you're preventing deaths there, you're buying vitamin A, you're buying AIDS drugs. We've seen phenomenal benefits uh, in the aid programs that we're partnered in. You're a notable philanthropist, of course, but much of this aid is government aid. Why is it the business of taxpayers in the United States or in Britain or anywhere else in Europe or anywhere else in the world to spend money on poorer people in poorer countries? Well, you have to decide, do the lives, say, in Africa have any value or not? Uh, does that bother us or not? Are we willing to take, uh, in the case of the UK, less than 2% of all government spending and have it go towards the very poorest, which in fact is, is very generous. You could completely alter the picture of the world if you went for a genuine redistributive mechanism in taxation. Couldn't you mean you? like North Korea? No, I don't mean like North Korea. I mean by democratic consent. Well, yeah, every, you could do that. You could adopt, yeah, we have many democracies. They have all have different taxation policies. I'm not an expert on any but the US. Would you favor in the US a higher rate of personal taxation? Yes. And when you saw the results of the Senate investigation into Microsoft's tax affairs and the allegation that about $4 million worth of taxes a day wasn't being paid because of the way that Microsoft managed their affairs, what did you think? I Was the allegation that was no, made? No, no. It's just simply hogwash. OK, which aspect is hogwash? The idea that Microsoft didn't pay its taxes. It's not that Microsoft didn't pay taxes, it's that they could have paid more taxes. Voluntarily? Yes, by choosing to organize their affairs differently rather than running them through Puerto Rico. Government should pass the tax laws that they need in order to collect the revenue they want to collect. I don't think, you know, saying that people should volunteer to pay taxes is likely to raise that much. It can be tried, uh, but, you know, the rules are set. How do you persuade people that it's their political or moral duty to pay more tax in order that there can be some sort of redistribution? You, you make sure that they, they follow the law and pay their taxes. If they don't, you put them in jail. It seems to work. <laughs> Bill Gates, thank you very much.